Hey everyone, Vitality here. Welcome back to episode 3 of the Solo Ark Survival Ascended series. We're back at it again in our tiny base. We've actually made a couple of improvements. As you can see, it's no longer a 1x1, one one, it's a 2x1, and we've got Fabricator instead of a Smithy. Reason being, we can just use our RG as a Smithy uh, with the saddle. So no point having both of them in there. And yeah, we got a bunch of mortar and pestles down here for storage. So we're in a pretty good position. Obviously, though, we can't use this base in the long term. We are going to need to move out into somewhere a little bit bigger. And off camera, I've been thinking of going and taming a Plesiosaur. I think it's the best thing to do. We're still staying hidden, but we're still also building ourselves up. One day we'll be able to build a massive base with heavies and all that, but today is not that day. Before we get into any plesiosaur taming or anything like that, I do want to quickly just raid this base I saw this morning. This is it here, so it's just a stone base. Oh, I've got a theory as well. I think it's worth blowing into. It is quite close to the beaver dams, so might have some paste in there. And they do have an RG and an Anki. Fingers crossed. Uh, really decent amount of metal. Some Some more metal in there as well. Uh, some narcotics. Okay, we got a trike saddle. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, that's quite a decent amount of metal. What I might do is craft some metal structures with that. I won't kill them and I'm not going to kill their tames or anything. Um, I don't really see a reason to. Not a bad way to get us started. Probably got to start looking for some bigger targets. Um... So we aren't really getting that much profit from the smaller bases anymore. Plesiosaurs can be kind of a pain to tame, so we might have to get an Ichthy first. Like one of those dolphin things. Alright, well we've finally tamed a dolphin. As you can see, there were a couple of unsuccessful attempts, but we move. I'm going to have to get these alpha. <laughs> I'm going to need to get all of this stuff off my screen. Alright, so the next thing we need to go and do is knock out a Plesiosaur. Uh, well, first we need to find one, actually. That'd be a good first step in the right direction. I always hate taming things underwater. It's just ten times harder than it needs to be. Uh, so, fingers crossed it's not too hard this time around. I think I've found a level 50 here. Oh, I have. Alright, this might actually be the perfect place to tame it. Really just trying to get it stuck down here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay, that's perfect. I just need it to stay like this. We got it kind of out in the open, which was, I was kind of hoping to avoid, but level 50 Plesiosaur. Doesn't seem to be anything too dangerous in the area as well. Alright, come on, man. Wake up. We don't have time for this. <laughs> oh, that's an alpha. That's not good. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, it's, it's, it's wraps, unfortunately. No! Passively. Just get out of there, man. Oh, that's so stupid. Alright, so I managed to tame another Plesiosaur. It's not as high of a level as the last one. It's only level 20, but should get the job done. I'm just trying to move everything over to it now. I kind of want to leave this stone base behind. I'll leave it here in case the Plesiosaur dies or something, but I've, I've kind of just got stuff everywhere, so it's a bit of a pain organizing it all. Yeah, as you can see, I chucked the platform saddle on as well. They're quite fast in the ocean. I kind of forgot how, how quick they could get around. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to set up out here. It's a Plant Species X base over there. Oh, it looks like it's been clapped up. Might investigate that a little bit later, but... Yeah, I did prefab a couple of structures, so... Oh, that's no good. Right. The Plesio platform saddle is super buggy with tames, which is kind of a pain, but 
seem to have landed that all right. Okay, uh, the design is looking all right. I think I accidentally placed the bed a bit uh, wonkily, but that's all right. I'll replace that at some point. I do kind of just want to check out this raft base because it'd be a a good raid to to go on. I think I am in desperate need of metal right now. We've got like nothing but scraps, so yeah, that doesn't look raided, and it's not glitched into the world barrier or anything. So the annoying thing is you can't really place C4 on rafts, so might have to craft some grenades for that. Yeah, I think first things first, we need to find a better place to, to park this plesiosaur. Okay, so this is the cave I've decided to hide the plesiosaur in. It's not really a cave, but it's kind of like a... I don't know how to describe it. It's a, it's a bit of a haven, I think. I don't think this guy should die down here. Um, but knowing my luck, he probably will. Uh, but yeah, I've got a bit of loot kind of scattered around the map that I'm probably going to bring over here. Keep it in one central area. Uh, but for now, I'm going to try and hit that raft base we saw earlier. Fingers crossed it's got some metal for us because, yeah, we've only got 59 metal to our name. And yeah, that, that's not a whole lot. So, yeah, we're going to leave this guy here. He, sh he should be right. I'm not... Uh, there's a few things around, but there's really no better place I can put it. We've got a bit of a long journey ahead of us to reach that raft base, so in the meantime, I'll tell you about my Ark Survival Evolved servers that are wiping on April 13th. I know Ark Survival Evolved is a different game to Ark Survival Ascended, but I don't really want to wipe my ASA servers until there's more maps. Prodigy and I are waiting on Scorched Earth or the center, whatever comes first, and we'll probably announce a wipe for ASA when those maps drop. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to be wiping on Ark Survival Evolved. I'll be recording some content over there as well, so if you want to join up, link will be in the description. Join the Discord, hit that interest button, and yeah, hopefully we'll see quite a lot of people on wipe day. Okay, this is the biggest stone base I've ever seen. <laughs> I was just... Uh, oh, he's online as well, and I'm kind of low on stamina. I feel like that could be worth blowing into. That's quite close to Metal Mountains. We do have an extra C4, so we could blow this up on the way... Oh, there's two of them. Um, you know what? Two is kind of a lot. <laughs> if it was a 1v1, I would have done it, but 2v1 online raid, we know how that goes. Oh, GG. I just died to a turret. Perfectly normal place to put a turret on the beach. It's actually going to be such a pain getting my body back. Oh, that is painful, to say the least. Okay, um, I was kind of in the middle of panicking, but I found some metal structures in this open base that we can hopefully craft some grapples out of. Yeah, we've actually got some grapples here, what the hell? Yeah, that's not bad at all. That kind of thing just only happens to me. That is wild. In desperate need for some grapples, and I find an open base. Alright, nice. We're in the clear. Alright, shouldn't be getting shot here. I don't think you can play C4 on rafts, unless they've changed it. Um, but I'll, I'll give it a go. Structure is out of bounds. Interesting. Yeah, the structure cannot be placed on platform. So we are going to need to use grenades here. This feels like something I should be doing a mathematic equation to, to calculate its trajectory or something. Uh, maybe I'll try throwing it down for my RG. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Might not have enough for this ceiling though, is the only thing. Yeah, so, turns out I did not bring enough grenades for that base, so gonna have to head back and get some more. <laughs> My bad. Kind of a stupid way to raid that. I don't really know how to... Like, I suppose I could maybe make my own raft and use that. I don't know. 
I might blow into this other base I found over here instead. Oh, someone's got a campfire going here. Here we go. Take this, mate. Being friendly to the bobs. Yeah, there's a metal base here that doesn't look like it's been raided. And it's got a fabricator, so... Could be worth blowing into. Is that not the guy I just gave a crossbow to? I'm going through the back here where it's not metal. Ooh, a long neck? That's actually nice. I've been I've been needing a weapon. Oh my. That is a lot of saddles. A compound bow. Yeah, okay, this guy is kinda kinda stacked. Made the C4 back. Oh my gosh, 10 C4, are you kidding me? Oh my days. That is profit. Uh, right, I need to put some of this flak on. <laughs> I've kind of been running around naked. I can't be doing that. Uh, bullets. Antidote. Oh, that's nice. 10 C4 from a stone base is insane. Alright, we're not going to hang around for too, too, too much longer. I do want to take this stuff back. That 10 C4, oh, that behemoth gate as well. We didn't raid the base that we intended to raid, but we've we've come out with a massive amount of profit somehow. After raiding that base and getting a decent amount of profit, I decided to head back to that monstrosity of a stone base I saw a couple of hours ago, because I was fairly certain that everyone would be offline by now. I know, I'm basically a witch for offline raiding, but it is what it is. <laughs> when I first came across this base, there were two of them, and they were both online. And that's kind of a... it's a difficult situation, PvPing two people as a solo. I mean, it's it's definitely possible, but we are quite poor at the moment, so we're kind of raiding for, for loot. The big things we really need are metal, and I wouldn't mind things like electronics and things like that. And yeah, if they have like RGs and PTs and stuff, I'd get clapped up, so... I know there's going to be a lot of different opinions on offline raiding. Uh, but I am playing solo, and there are people on here with like 6 to 8 people in their tribes, so... I've got to take anything I can get. And yeah, I won't, I won't kill their teams or anything like that. Decent PT saddle. Um, I'm not expecting these guys to have too much, I was kind of just... Oh, Metal Behemoth Gate? Okay, that's huge. Yeah, see, this is a stacked tribe. There's like four people in here. I would have been... It would have been over for me. Well, this guy's in handcuffs. That's kind of kinky. Uh, but yeah, I'm not killing them. I'm not going to kill any of their tames, cause any unnecessary destruction. We're just taking what we need. Might not look like a lot to some people, but we are planning on building a fairly decent base at some point. I don't want to be living on a plesiosaur forever, but it's probably going to be our home for a couple more days at least. I just need to hit level 100 really so we can get heavies. I think I need to make a cryo fridge. Also might need to repair some of these structures because they're looking a bit worse for wear. Oh, cryo fridges are actually kind of cheap. I thought there'd be way more electronics than that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to head to an obelisk and I'm going to do that now. So. I was just really confused as to why my tame wasn't moving, but it turns out, like, the stuff that you have on the platform saddle counts towards its weight. So when I've got all this metal and gunpowder in here, its weight goes up to, like, well over a thousand. Let me just get off it really quickly. Yeah, so its weight's at a thousand. And then if I take that stuff out, it drops. That is so weird. That was never the case on Ark Survival Evolved. That kind of like nerfs it into the ground. <laughs> well, if I'd known that, I would have tamed a better Plesiosaur. I mean, it should be fine. We're just going to have to be smarter about how we like store stuff. Right, how much metal do we get from a gate? I think it's quite a lot. Oh, no, I should have done the... Oh, that's my bad. 
I actually have like no brain cells. It's all good. We brought this along as well. Oh, we're only just gonna have enough for the cryo fridge and one cryo pod. <sighs> ah, kill me. It's all right. Modern problems require modern solutions. Okay, 17 more. That should get us a few cryopods extra. Seven. That'll do us for like ages. <laughs> Till the rest of the series, probably. Oh, man. This is like one devastation after another. Can't even place the cryo fridge. Oh. Well, we're going to have to set that up on the mainland somewhere. All right, well, there's actually no point of me having this generator on here. All right, this is gonna be our designated cryo fridge, cryopod throw out area. Uh, Cause that's what the game makes you do these days. We have so much metal, it's insane. <laughs> what I might try and do is turn all of this into electronics and that way we can actually keep it in our plesiosaur. Cause there's no way that thing is moving with all of this. <laughs> I've just taken myself over to the redwoods because I really need to tame some PTs. We've only got one flyer at the moment. I don't know where the other one went that I got from a raid. Um, I don't know where that PT went, so I need to start replacing them because, yeah, if I die with the, the RG, it's over. Uh, but yeah, we'll tame that. We might get one more as well. Would love like a really high level. Oh my days, oh my, oh my god, I just found a Ascendant Stego Saddle out of a white drop. What the hell? That is, I'm like speechless right now. 75 armor stego saddle you are having me on that is the find of the century it does not get any better than that <laughs> i mean a blueprint would have been cool but that that is insane we could actually tame a decent stego and go and raid some turret bases now what on earth i scouted a base over here that's actually got some turrets we could maybe try and raid i, I mean that is the find of the century it's making me want to check all the drops now. I mean, yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, even since the start of this series, I've been getting C4 out of drops. Like, either they're so overpowered or I'm just insanely lucky. I mean, we could give raiding this a solid go. We tame a decent Stego. What's that timer mean, though? 15, 23. I wonder if that means they've been offline for a while now. Um, we would definitely need, like, a, a turret fob as well. But that is worth doing, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go and tame Stego. Might get two, a male and a female. Unfortunately, I never got the chance to raid that turret base in the snow. I logged off and when I woke up the next morning, I found out my plesiosaur had been killed by a shark. So that that marks the end of the, the Ark Survival Ascendant series. It was a pretty good, it was a good run while it lasted, but yeah, I guess it just goes to show, don't build on a plesiosaur. <laughs> But I hope you guys did enjoy this series, and in saying all that, there's actually quite a lot of content uh, coming out soon. We got Scorched Earth releasing on Ark Survival Ascended. My servers are wiping April 13th, and I'm going to be playing the Xavi wipe. So a link to join the Discord will be in the description below. Join up if you can, hit that interest button, and yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one.